Let's start with the big one first. We have some osprey that are coming out of quarantine uh, and they're coming to live over here at the tab building. So we're just getting an enclosure set up for them. Think about this one, Mike. <laughs> With normal people, you know, you would see a down tree or a tree limb and most of the time it will be an inconvenience for them. But even in my daily life, if I see a fallen tree, I'm thinking about which exhibit I can put that in, uh, how my animals can best utilize that. Perching has definitely taken a significant part of my life. <laughs> Here we go. The tool, all we need is a little muscle. I'm actually a retired college football player. So this is a way for me to kind of keep some shape that I used to have. Uh, yeah. Ospreys, they are strong, but luckily for us, with them being a flighted bird, their bones are hollow. So even for their size, they're relatively light. So we kind of go a little overboard with our securing, but that's just to really make sure that, you know, this perch isn't gonna move on them. In the end, that's for the, uh, the animal safety, so we have no problem doing it. I think they'll like it. I think they'll like it. These two osprey, when they were very little, they were brought to a wildlife rehab center in Utah by somebody who thought they needed to be rescued. They either fell out of the nest or there was some other perceived danger. They were hand raised, so they became imprinted on people. Because they were so heavily imprinted on people, they couldn't be released back into the wild. So they're in here. Aren't they pretty? They're really neat. We've never had an osprey. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of birds of prey, osprey were negatively impacted by the use of pesticides back in the 70s. And a lot of laws have changed, and these populations have rebounded. So they're pretty widely spread now across the US. While there's similarities with other raptors, ospreys are uniquely adapted for hunting fish, and they're a top predator in the aquatic environment. They feed on fish. The health of the osprey population is a good indicator of a healthy ecosystem. We haven't really been able to get to this shot. Why don't we just open the door and do it now? Yeah. You want to do it now? Just make sure that door is closed. Down. And if it flies out, you know, just stay where you are. That's all right. How are they? Are they jumpy? A little jumpy, but they'll come down. The doors are closed, yes? Mm -hmm. Close that on the door, Kat. Yep. You good? I got them. There you go, baby. Got him? Got him. I don't want to hurt his wings. Here you go, my love. Wow, you have a way of a bird. He taught me. So just stand right on that perch. There you go, baby. I've been working with birds of prey for almost 40 years. They're just amazing creatures. They're so graceful, they're so powerful. And the fact that they allow this relationship with you, that they willingly sit on your hand and they have, you know, it is actually a relationship. Uh, it's something that really draws me to them. See that wingspan though? How cool is that? Once the two Osprey clear quarantine, they'll be moving to TAB where they'll join the Tractable program and they'll be with people in classrooms telling their story. All right, so you want to take that one and that one? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Alonzo, Ty, and I are going to meet Jim over at the health center and we're going to bring the Ospreys to their new home at the Animal Ambassador Building. You see my socks? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we bring the crates inside there. Okay. Shut that door. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh -huh. I'm going to put the crates over here. They seem pretty calm today. Hi, sweetheart. 
I'm gonna get ready with the box. The bird's reaction is gonna be, it's, it's flight, it's not fight. I think I should grab her. So you don't really have to worry about the bird attacking you. The bird's just really gonna try to get away from you. The problem is you're in a small space, there's very, there's no options for the bird. So that's why you see a lot of fluttering, but it's pretty organized. I just want to get her feet and fix yeah. her wings so she's not beating herself up. You're okay, sweetheart. Hold Thanks, on, Jimmy. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Got it. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Nice and easy. Make sure this is shut. Cool. Okay, let's okay. go. That was good. Yeah, quick. Quick is the way to do it. It's okay, guys. You guys came all the way from Utah. We got a two minute drive. <laughs> Hopefully the goal is they'll be integrated into the handable collection. So they'll be acclimated to sitting on a glove. They'll be acclimated to going into a classroom, being close to people. Good job, Jackson. Nice job, bud. Some people come to these classes and they get introduced to these animals and they learn something about the animal's biology and, and the niche that it occupies in the wild. The next time they go to the beach, the next time they go to the shore, they might see an osprey that they otherwise would have ignored or not paid attention to and say, hey, that's an osprey. I learned about that at the Bronx Zoo. You wanna go in that door? They're calming down, huh? Yeah, they don't move around at all. So, how about here? Okay. And then Alonzo, you want to open the crate? Bottom one first. And then the top. I'll hold it here. Come on, my friends. Good job, buddy. Come on, go with your friend. <laughs> Watch, he goes in with his friend. <laughs> What's he looking like, Jim? He's just looking straight out the door. He's thinking about it. Want to leave him? OK. You're OK, sweetheart. He'll come out. Oh, she came out. She did? <laughs> awesome. I won't take it personally. Just ran out. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> They're both out. They're both out. She's so close to the crate, we're going to leave it. I'll look from, you want to look from the outside? <laughs> Assuming they're both going to be comfortable, I think they will be. We'll start bringing them into the classroom. When they're comfortable with that, we'll bring a few different people in, and then eventually they'll go to public programs. They're really cool birds. They are. I love them. 